Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, is we're going to learn about how to create and customize Facebook shop. So on to this tutorial, we're going to guide you step by step onto the Facebook shop and you'll be able to learn on how to set up and customize your own Facebook shop on your business page. So first things first for this is you need to log in onto your Facebook account. So we need to head over or log in, in here since we're going to go ahead and need to set up your business page since this is one of the crucial or important things to go ahead and set up your Facebook shop. So if you don't have a Facebook page yet, then we're going to go ahead and try to set up one. So you'll just need to go ahead and try to search Facebook Business Manager onto your device so that you could go ahead and click on the Get Started and it will go ahead and prompt us to create a Facebook page. So you'll just need to click on to create a Facebook page and then you'll get redirected in here. So this is the page where people go to learn more about you. So make sure yours is all the information that they need. So first things first that you could add in here is a page name. So you could use the name of your business, brand or organization or a name that helps you explain your page. So this is actually a required field. So you're going to go ahead and type it in here, add in a category that best describes your shop and also add in a bio or tell people a little about what you do. Now, as you can see, I've added already a page name in here, which is Paw Shop, a category for pet shop and a bio that this is a pet shop. So by creating this page, you should agree to the pages, groups and events and policies to proceed. So once you the categories, you could go ahead and type in some things also in here and you should be able to see some suggestions onto what to choose. So for example, pet supplies, you could go ahead and do that. And then once you're already set onto your page name, category and bio, you could go ahead and click on the create page already. Now, since our shop was already created, you can add images or go to your page to add more details for this. So the things that we could do in here to set it up, add in a contact or a website, add in a phone number, your email, location, city and town, your zip code, the hours or let people know your location hours. So there are a lot of options to choose for that. No hours available, always open or open at selected hours. So you'll just need to fill this one out to proceed. Now the next step to finish up your page is to add in a profile picture and also a cover photo. So your profile picture is one of the first things that people see so you could use a logo or an image that people can easily associate with you. Now since this is for a pet shop, I've gone ahead and added something that is related to that as well. So you could add in action buttons as well in here. So you're just going to go ahead and try to click onto that. And then as you can see, if you prefer email over messaging or want to drive traffic to your site, you could choose an option based on the engagement that you want. So you could go ahead and try that one out. So as you can see, the help people support you, there are a lot of options in here. So you have book now, sign up, start order, view shop, get tickets, or to get people to contact you, we have send message in here for WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, call now, email, contact us, and to link your group or app, there is a learn more in here. Watch now, visit group, play game, and buy now. So you'll just need to choose onto that one, and then you could go ahead and proceed. So right after, once you have already set this one up, you're going to go ahead and click on to next. Now there is an option also for you to connect your WhatsApp to your page. So you're going to go ahead and just click onto this one and follow in the prompts or add in your WhatsApp number. Or you could just simply skip onto this one. Now you could also build your page audience or grow a up by inviting your friends to connect with it. So you could just go ahead and learn more regarding that. Click on to next and then you could stay informed about your page. You could turn on the page notification in your profile, the marketing and promotional emails about your page. So you have the options to change them anytime in the settings or you could toggle this on or off anytime. So once it is already set up, just simply click on to done. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and already successfully set up our business page already. So what we could do next in here is to go ahead and access our ads manager. So for us to be able to proceed, what we need to do in here is we need to click onto this icon in here. So sometimes this is found here onto the top right of your Facebook account, or you could go ahead and head onto the left section of your Facebook account. So we'll just need to click onto that. And then once you're already in here, we need to go ahead and find in the ads manager. So we're just going to need to scroll down in here and you can find it under professional. So just go ahead and click onto that. And now we'll just need to go ahead and click on to get started for this. Now to set up your ad account, we're going to go ahead and click onto your paw shop in here. Click on to next. And you could also add in a payment method already now. So we'll just skip onto this part. 
and then right after we're gonna go ahead and try to explore the ads manager for this or try to create an ad campaign now right after once you're already in here just click onto the three horizontal lines to open all tools and then click onto commerce manager now here onto the commerce manager you could actually find this under the bottom of the page you could scroll down for that and we need to switch the account for this so just simply click on to continue to proceed now to create the shop we're gonna go ahead and click on to get started for this so just go ahead and click on to create a shop so that we could go ahead and add physical products to sell, tag and advertise from a custom shop on Facebook and Instagram. So we're going to go ahead and click onto that and click on to get started. Now, if shops aren't available in your region, you don't have to worry since you could go ahead and click onto the other option, which is create a catalog for that. So onto this type, you could go ahead and add in a product, vehicle, rentals, and more, and choose different ways to promote them. So you could just go ahead and click on to get started for that. And then right after you'll get redirected onto to select your catalog type. So you'll just need to choose in here which one. So you could sell online or available locally for e-commerce, travel, real estate, or auto. So you'll just click on e-commerce for that and click on online products, click on the next, and then you're gonna go ahead and try to add in your product info or you could go ahead and connect a partner platform. So for this one, a business ID is required. So this is in order to connect your account. And if you don't have one, you could create here onto create business ID. So you could add in your catalog name as well in here. And let's proceed on to creating a business ID. So you'll just need to add in your business and account name in here, your own name, your business email, and then you could go ahead and submit that. Now, right after you have filled that one out, then it will go ahead and create your market. So you'll just need to confirm your email address to the email that you have input in there. So just click on to done and once everything is already set just simply click on to create to proceed on to your shop now as you can see our catalog or shop has been created then you could go ahead and view this one so that you could go ahead and try to edit this one as well so as you can see it has taken us back onto the commerce manager and you should be able to follow some tips in here to continue growing your business so as you can see you could add in items here onto your catalogs so you could set things in here view the issues data sources add in some events and many more so we'll just need to go ahead and try to see the overview in here since new guidance will be added here when they are available now to add in products onto your catalog so we're just going to click onto the items in here so as you can see this is a place for you to manage your inventory information and all the products that you want to advertise or sell then you can display this in here so as you can see we don't have an item yet since we're just starting out you'll just have to click on to add items in here so right after you could manually fill in a form to manually add items to your catalog or you could use a spreadsheet or file to add and update your items automatically or you could use a partner platform like shopify or big commerce to automatically add items from your website or you could also use your metapixel to automatically add items from your website so if you want to do this manually just click onto the option click onto next in here to proceed so you'll just need to add in their image enter a short clear title describe the features and benefits and add in their website link so if you want to add more just simply click on to add a new item or you could create a lot of them so if you want to go ahead and delete them just click onto the delete icon to delete the specific row that you have chosen so you'll just need to go ahead and upload all items once you're already set and that concludes the setting up of your facebook shop on your business page so if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on to your next video